Now for a local 10 investigation we've been following for several weeks about shill candidates that may have skewed results in at least two election races. And we're now learning who may have helped plant one of those no party candidates and the alleged recruiter is no stranger to scandal. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live now in Miami with what he's uncovered. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, his name is Frank Artiles, and we know that he has been in contact with one of these alleged shill candidates, this no party candidate, even providing Artiles with information and updates on his progress. But when we went to speak with Artiles, he asked us to leave. Hello, sir. Roy Ramos with Local 10 News. In an attempt to learn more of allegations, Frank Artiles played a significant role in planting a no party candidate in Miami Dade Senate race for District 37. We went to the former state senator's home. Okay. We wanted to ask you about, some, about Alex Rodriguez. While Artiles did come to the door, he never opened it and refused to answer any of my questions. But if the name Alex Rodriguez sounds familiar, it's because it was just last month we learned he'd likely ran in the state Senate race to disrupt Democratic votes for incumbent Democrat at the time, Jose Javier Rodriguez, an opponent bearing the same last name. Newly elected Republican Miami-Dade Senator Ileana Garcia winning that race by just 32 votes after a three-day recount. As Alex Rodriguez is now at the center of a shill candidate investigation by the state attorney's office, more evidence has surfaced Artillis planted the no party candidate who received 6,382 votes. Local 10 learned Alex Rodriguez kept Artillis informed with his progress as a candidate. Meanwhile, Miami-Dade Board of County Commissioners tweeting out Artillis has applied to fill the vacant District 8 seat of Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. And Miami-Dade County Commissioners will hold that special meeting on Monday to appoint that new county commissioner. We will let you know what happens there. As for this investigation, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office still has yet to file any official charges. For now in the city of Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.